Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am sharing with you an autumn version of what I eat in a day. And I'm super excited because my mom is joining me once again for this video. I know you guys loved seeing her in my last what I eat video. And she is helping me whip together a super easy crock pot dinner that I'm going to be sharing with you. And she and I got to enjoy lunch together courtesy of Home Chef. You guys also liked being introduced to Home Chef and their meal kit delivery service in my last What I Eat in a Day video, and I am excited to have them sponsor the lunch portion of this video once again and share with you what I have been loving from them. If you like seeing food videos on this channel, then let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up, and let's hop into what I am eating for breakfast. As a mom, I have to get up pretty early in order to have some time before the kids wake up and I'm usually really tired. And something that helps me wake up is just to drink a big glass of water. This helps me hydrate my body for my long day as well as wake up my digestion for the breakfast that I'm gonna have. Today I am making an omelet, and this isn't just any ordinary omelet. This is kind of like my leftovers, whatever is left in the fridge sort of meal. And this is a really easy way to take care of little bits of leftovers that you have that would just sit in your fridge that wouldn't really make a complete meal. And so today I actually have a little bit of Mexican rice I made a couple of days before, some roasted vegetables from last night's dinner, and then I also just broke up a few pieces of of deli meat to add some more protein. I'm gonna get all of that heated up in a pan and then I'm gonna transfer it over to a plate and then get started on the egg portion of my omelet. And so I'm gonna start with three eggs and aren't these gorgeous? These are from my mom's chickens actually. She has the happiest, healthiest, most loved chickens on the planet and they produce some of the most gorgeous eggs. They're so delicious and as you guys can see, I actually ran into a double yolk egg this morning for my omelet. So I guess twins really do run in the family. So I'm just gonna mix these up and add just a dash of milk into it to make it nice and creamy and fluffy. Once the eggs have hit the pan, I try not to mix them up too much, but I will swirl around whatever is left liquidy and glossy into the pan until it's just slightly glossy on the top. And then I will put my veggies or whatever is in my filling back into the eggs, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and fold over one side. I'll sprinkle a dash of this tahine seasoning on top and then before I sit down to have my breakfast, I will make some coffee first. I have been really enjoying my fall coffee recipes. I know you guys have too, actually. I've seen so many of your tags on Instagram and I've been reposting them. This morning, I am having the Mexican mocha from that video and I'm having it in the iced version. I usually eat breakfast with the kids and we all chat together and eat together. Sometimes we listen to music or watch a little cartoon and I finish off my cup of coffee while I do some homeschooling with the boys. And after we finished that up, got everything cleaned up from breakfast and the kids moved on to some playtime, my mom actually came over and we started working on just a couple of projects together. One of those projects was putting together a meal, but more on that in a little bit. After we had got some stuff done, we were getting Getting hungry and so I decided to share with her some lunch and today's lunch is from Home Chef. A big thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've talked about Home Chef before. You guys know how much I love this meal kit delivery service. Weston and I have really enjoyed it over the past six months or so. And honestly, it is our favorite meal kit delivery service that we have ever tried. And we have tried a few different brands, as you guys know. And the nice thing about this time around was I was really impressed by the selection for vegetarian options. 
My mom has eaten a vegetarian diet for my whole life and I knew I would be having her over for lunch today. And when I was making this week's order, I wanted to look for at least one dish that I could share with my mom that would go along with her diet. And it was super easy to find something very delicious and of course easy to prepare. It was super easy to put this meal together and really fun to be able to share it with my mom. So of course the directions are always really easy and clear to follow. And so so we just started by prepping our produce and caramelizing some onions in butter and sherry wine. Beautiful woman, tied to your love in a doubt, beautiful woman. The smell of the caramelizing onions just filled the kitchen. It smelled so amazing in there. And we then made a bechamel cheese sauce with fontina cheese, which is an Italian cheese that tastes so good. It has this really nutty undertone to it. We spread that on our flatbreads and topped it with the caramelized onions and popped that in the oven to cook for a little bit. Once those flatbreads were out of the oven, we quickly topped them with some fresh thyme and this gorgeous arugula and cherry tomato salad. Oh my goodness, this meal was hearty and ooey and gooey and really like comfort food, but also had that fresh uh, salad on the top and it was just so yummy. Honestly, this is one of my favorite meals that I've ever had through Home Chef. It was a gorgeous day and so the kids got to play outside for a little bit with my brother and my mom and I shared lunch together, complete with some sparkling water and our beautiful Home Chef lunch that we had put together. Home Chef has this really great offer right now for you guys. Uh, when you sign up with my code, you get $30 off your first Home Chef box. And like I mentioned in my last video with them, you've really got nothing to lose with this deal because if you're someone who just wants to sign up up just to use the coupon code that means you can uh, try out two to three meals or one meal with two to three servings in it for absolutely free and there's no commitment there's no hitch here you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time being able to share lunch with my mom was really great and it was nice to be able to fuel our bodies before heading into some more of the work that we had to do and home chef made that possible it was nutritious it was yummy, it was vegetarian, which was also a plus, especially for my mom, and it was really nice to be able to share it with you guys. After lunch was cleaned up, my mom and I got back to work in the kitchen and we were working on a meal that I could make enough of to have for my family that night and then also bring a portion of it to my sister Sarah, who actually just had a baby last week. It's her second little baby girl and mom and baby are doing wonderfully, but something that is always a great thing to do for a new mother is to bring them a meal. So for dinner tonight, I am making this gorgeous Italian crock pot chili. It's super easy to make. It is so, so delicious. And you can kind of think of it as a cross between a traditional chili and a minestrone soup. So it's a chili with Italian flavors, which my mom is well versed in, and she was a great help in doing this meal. The recipe starts with a diced onion and some diced up bell pepper. I just put a drizzle of olive oil in the bottom of my crock pot and put those peppers and onions in. And for this chili, I'm using three different beans and you can use dry beans and cook those up. If you have beans on hand in your freezer that you've already cooked up, you can use those as well. But today I'm actually using canned beans cause I was making it as quick and easy as possible. But today I am using red kidney beans, garbanzo beans, which are an Italian bean. And then I'm also using cannellini beans, which are white kidney beans. And cannellini beans are also another Italian bean. So I 
I thought this trio was perfect for an Italian chili. I put two eight ounce cans of each of those beans drained into the crock pot as well as a can of diced tomatoes. And then to season, today I'm using this Johnny's garlic spread, which is actually made to be put on garlic bread, but it has all of those wonderful Italian flavors in it. And then of course I am adding some red chili powder to the chili. I use a lot of ground turkey meat in the meals for our week and earlier this week I actually browned up some turkey meat for another recipe and I popped the remainder of it in the freezer and then today I just thawed that out. You can even just throw the frozen block into your crock pot. Um, and I mix that in with my chili and it's a great way to use up any of the meat, um, especially ground meat that you used for another recipe and had a little left over. Once that's all mixed up, I'll just add a bay leaf to the top of it to again, reinforce the Italian flavors of this chili. And I set that to low for five hours or so or on high for two to three hours and I will stir it periodically. After it's been simmering for a few hours in the crock pot, I transferred it to my small crock pot, which I packaged up for my sister and I included this loaf of artisan bread that my mom made homemade. I'll leave the recipe to that bread in the description box for you guys. You saw it on my Instagram and on my mom's Instagram actually um, a few days ago and you were asking for the recipe. So it's in the description box if you're curious and then I'm also including some lemonade and chocolate and butter of course to go with the bread and I put that all in the basket for my sister and dropped it off to bless her. And then back at home for dinner time, I added a little bit of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese to the top of the chili. And sometimes we will also eat this over noodles or over rice. And the kids actually ate their dinner before we did. All three of them gobbled up their chili. They absolutely loved it. And Weston and I reserved our dinner time for after they had gone to bed, we caught a little bit of Monday night football together and enjoyed this perfect autumn comfort food with a few slices of an artisan loaf that my mom made for our family. After our hearty and savory meal, I was feeling like something a little sweet. And so I decided to put together a little dessert that Weston and I have every once in a while. Um, this starts off with a pear. I actually get this in a seasonal fruit basket that you can have as an add-on to your home chef delivery, which is really cool. And so I slice up the pear. Pears are in season right now. They are so crisp and delicious and sweet. Um, but the thing that makes everything better is Nutella <laughs> and that's what I take a generous spoonful of into a little bowl and I just dip my pear slices into the Nutella it's so yummy and to go along with that I had a couple of shots of decaf espresso and I do it espresso con penna so that's basically espresso unsweetened topped with a little bit of uh, freshly made whipped cream and this is so yummy and it goes perfectly with the pear and Nutella you guys have to try this and if you do if you try any of these recipes actually uh, tag me on Instagram I would love to see what you guys are recreating and I would love to also repost what you guys share with me and that's everything for this video and what I ate today let me know in the comments what your favorite autumn time food is is it pumpkin pie do you look forward to homemade soups or coffee? Let me know what it is in the comments. And I want to give another thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out the description box and use my code so that you guys can get $30 off your first Home Chef box. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.